Go UTC. Warren and Griffin cheers our men and women in Asheville. Warren and Griffin, your local five-star law firm. All right, thanks for sticking for sports. The madness continues in Asheville, North Carolina, and the Chattanooga Mocs live to see another day. Our Samantha Cassano was courtside for the boys' big win over Wofford and brings us this recap. We've been saying it all week, survive in advance is the name of the game. The Chattanooga Mocs entered the SoCon tournament as the seventh seed. Now they've rattled off three wins in three days, and on Monday they'll play for their second straight SoCon title. The boys know what's at stake, and they know they don't want to go home. But Wofford gets the first word. B.J. Mack finds Maziah Jones, who has six early points. The mock stay composed, though. Demetrius Davis floats it in to get Chattanooga on the board. And they don't stop there. Jake Stevens from the top of the key for three gets the mocks within three. A.J. Caldwell wants to cut down the nets again. He finishes with double digits and three boards. Wofford takes a quick lead, but Dalvin White hits the jumper to put the mocks up by one at the break. Turns out that's all the team needs to light the fire. For the second straight game, the Mocs start the second half on an 11-0 run. Unfortunately, you're going to have to get used to buckets like this from Jackson Pavletsky. This kid is just a freshman. No worries, though. Mocs weather this storm. Let's hear it for the hometown kid, Randy Brady. Eight points and five boards. The Mocs hang tough and pull out a 74-62 win. But the job's not done yet. You know, I don't think we're going to make a huge deal about it. It's just kind of, hey, this is the next game. Fellas, this is for a championship. This is the opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament. Like, let's go. You kind of just got to treat it like another game, but uh, respect the moment and understand what, what's in front of you. But at the same time, you got to cherish it a little bit. Now it's a date with Destiny, a rematch with Furman for the SoCon championship. I'm pretty sure all Mox fans remember exactly what happens on March 8th, 2022. And I'm pretty sure they're hoping they can do it again, maybe this time in just a little less dramatic fashion. For now at the Harris Cherokee Center in Asheville, North Carolina, Samantha Cassano, Local 3 Sports.